Wait, 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 let me get this straight. You remember your fight with Brooklyn when we were in high school taking place in a WWE arena with a ring sold out crowd and commentators? The guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning my memory? No, the guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning your sanity. Whatever. I may have taken a few liberties with my story, but that is how I choose to remember it. Well, as much as I'd love to join you in rewriting history, that day is scorched into my brain because that's how I got my nickname, Trey. This is how it really went down. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey, being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <gasps> that was a huge mistake. Oh no, I've unleashed Hothead Red. I'm gonna take that marker, bring it to your grandmother's nursing home and cross out parts of her chart so when the nurse goes to give her turndown service, she won't know to flip her over. That's right, I'm gonna give your grandmother bed sores. What is wrong with you? Calm down, deep breaths, maybe we can talk this out. I'm done talking. <laughs> this is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. What are you gonna do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table. I'm going to get help. <laughs> Everyone already knows Hothead Red, but let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. Trey, 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 Trey. Now her face matches her nickname. That could have been way worse. Yeah, Brooklyn could have posted a video of the whole thing online. Oh wait, that's exactly what she did. I meant she could have dumped something worse on me, like mayo or hot sauce. And hey, at least she didn't destroy our list. So what? I'm not gonna do any of those things anyway. What do you mean? We were just embarrassed in front of the entire school and currently 672 people on the internet. I bet a bunch of those are repeat views. Great. We're not even touching on the fact that I got beat up by a lunch tray. I'm never going to be a WWE superstar. I'll just go to college and get a lame job like my parents want me to. <sighs> I think you need to read the letter again. See, this is what I'm talking about. I can't even open my locker. What's your combination? 16339, I think. Letter, please. Here we go. I think this section is relevant right now. 
You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams no matter what they might be, to become anything you want. Using the only letter I have from my real parents as some sort of motivational speech is kind of a cheap move. They're right though. You got a second chance in life and you need to make the most of it. So why sell yourself short? You need to at least try. Fine. But when this whole WWE thing doesn't work out, I'm blaming you. It'll work out. I promise. Assuming you never have to wrestle a lunch tray. They're actually a lot tougher than they look. Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. But did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No, I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red, hot head red, hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? <sighs> no, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is... Got it. Finally. Was never in doubt. I'm sorry you were locked in there all alone for so long. Mommy won't ever let that happen again. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. We should get going. We can't be late. Hey, we got a message from President Johnson. Do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day. I'll be watching from the People's White House. That's cool. <laughs> but I, I voted for Kane.
I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That's right. Now I remember. Things have clearly gotten personal between Red and Natalia. This is on Red for claiming she was the best Ugh. female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That was pretty much a direct shot at Natty. <clears throat> Natalia is certainly proud of her legacy and will go to any lengths to defend it. Boom, right in the button. She is just too quick. Got out of the way in a hurry. German suplex. Huge toss. Oof, well measured. Natalia's a third generation superstar and extremely confident, but pedigree and confidence can only get you so far in WWE, especially in a match like this. What does Natalia have to do here to pull out the win? I think it's pretty obvious. Natalia's best strategy has to be soften her opponent's back to prepare for the patented Hart family sharpshooter. That's the ace in the <laughs> hole and the reason why Natalia's so confident. And it's Natalia with the reversal. Nothing fancy here. Ugh. <laughs> you like that? Yep. Ugh. Knee lift. Oh, targeting the stomach. Natalia says, not this time. Bulldog. Oh. Saw that one coming. She's got her in her sights. Hooked up. Here we go. Going after the upper body. And it's targeted attacks like this that put people on shelves for a very long time. Natalia able to counter beautifully. She returns the favor there. Corey, she's really targeting the torso here tonight. Weakening the core. I love it. Ooh, uh. bullseye! Thank you. 
taking it to her midsection yet again. How she's absorbing this punishment is beyond me. She just keeps using that. Hey, wouldn't you? And it's Natalya with the reversal. What a throw. Setting up for it. Natalia says, not this time. Uh. Whoa, it's another reversal. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. We are seeing a next level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency. You have to give them that. to the midsection. Natalia able to counter beautifully. Uh. Oh, that one coming. Hooked up. Here we go. Uh, I don't think she's getting up from that one. I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah. But thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's going to rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Hey, pull that match up on your phone if you don't mind. I spoke to Trey and AJ before this match, and both men admitted they didn't have a lot of experience in Falls Count Anywhere matches. Taking that into consideration, Trey did tell me he used a rather unusual training method to prepare for tonight. He played hours and hours of Falls Count Anywhere matches on WWE 2K. Yeah, because nothing will prepare you for one of the most brutal matches of your career, quite like sitting on a couch playing video games on band night. What an idiot.
He's not looking good here, guys. Oh, right off the turnbuckle. Face first. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. You can never count AJ Styles out, but his few losses of note have come from bigger opponents who countered Styles' aerial attack. And here we go. Oh, look into the arm bar. He fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? Oh, the reversal by AJ Styles. Corey, what can a superstar do if they find themselves playing defense in this match? You gotta find a way to create separation and buy yourself some time. Collect yourself. Otherwise, the beatings will continue. It's a battlefield out there, and you have to navigate around the landmines. Backbreaker. Time backbreaker. This is just going to be physical. There's no other way to describe it. Thrust right to the throat. Man can't breathe. The man can't fight. Big throw. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Head butt to the back of the neck. It's very clear that the physicality of this match is taking a toll on AJ Styles. He was the favorite for this match, but that's changing rapidly. AJ Styles might be headed for a rare loss unless he turns things around. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. Check out this power. What a press. AJ's in big trouble now. AJ Styles is in trouble. You can say that again, Seth. That should do it right there. One, two, three. They come and this one's history. What a win. Let's watch again how AJ Styles was toppled tonight. It's a big win for him, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not impressed at all by AJ Styles' effort tonight. Well, I mean, he tried. I don't think anybody would have expected anything less from a match here at Extreme Rules. That was the absolute definition of vicious.